hello friends covid-19 has created a situation a unique situation for all of us which we had never experienced before as most of us are locked in our own houses we all find our freedom going in for a toss the only thing we are free to do is to eat as much as we can eating is fun but it has its own pitfalls and i'm sure nobody wants to end up like this in fact you should consider this as an opportunity to do something good to your body and make yourself fitter i am dr nand kishore and today i'm going to tell you how to achieve that without too much of a fuss you neither need to go to a dietitian nor a physical fitness expert i would try to simplify the things for you as much as i can what are the requirements you need to have some basic measurements before we start write them all on a piece of paper your weight in kgs your height in meters and centimeters your basal metabolic rate commonly known as bmr your body mass index commonly known as bmi and your age how to calculate your basal metabolic rate don't get bogged down by the complicated looking formula you don't need to mug it up but you surely need a calculator just fill in your details like your age in years your weight in kg and height in centimeters and you will get your bmr all of us have different bmr for the simple reason that our bodies digest the food at different rates though the basic digestive process remains the same on the board you can see two different formulae one is for male and one is for female you just need to copy it down on a piece of paper and fill in the details i will just read out one formula to you for a male it is 88.362 plus 13.397 into weight in kgs plus 4.793799 into height in centimeters minus 5.677 into age in years if you are a female 447.593 plus 9.247 into weight in kgs plus 3.098 into height in centimeters minus 4.330 into age in years body mass index bmi the process is much simpler you just have to divide your weight in kilograms with height in meters squared now we'll take an example to make the thing simpler for you a 60 year old man let us say he's 5 feet 7 inches tall which makes it 168 cm or 1.68 meters weighing 80 kgs now if you fill in all the details in the existing formula of bmr what you get is a what you get is 1625 bmr if you fill in the details in bmi formula you will get a bmi of 28.3 bmr simply means the capacity of your body to burn the calories in 24 hours if your bmr is 1625 this means you are burning those many calories in a day in this example if he consumes 1625 calories in a day and keeps doing the same he won't get any extra weight but you won't lose any either body mass index now let us see what does it mean normally bmi should be within the range of 18 to 24.9 25 to 30 is alarming and more than 30 is obese in this example it's surely alarming and he surely needs to do something to get it down to acceptable levels so what he needs to do if he wants to share his extra bmi if he needs to get his bmi less than 25 he needs to shed at least 10 kg of his weight which would give him bmi of 24.8 this is the formula why he should get it if he keeps his goal of losing 2 kg a month in 5 months he would achieve his target of 25 bmi is it difficult not at all just follow certain guidelines managing your body weight is nothing but maintaining the balance between the calories that you consume and the calories that you burn you need to know the facts regarding the nutrition 
and the physical workouts. We should know how much calories you get from the food that you eat. Carbohydrates give you 4 kilocalories per gram. Proteins give you 4 kilocalories per gram and fats 9 kilocalories per gram. In this example, if he needs to lose 2 kgs, that is 2000 grams in a month, he needs to lose 2000 divided by 30, that is 66 grams in a day. 66 grams fat is 66 into 9 is equal to 594 kilocalories. He has to cut down on 594 kilocalories per day. This means his daily consumption would be 1625 minus 594 is equal to 1321 kilocalories. You also need to know a little about the physical workout. Along with calorie cuts, you need to do certain kind of indoor exercises. Here are the approximate calorie burnout by some indoor activities for 30 minutes. By no means this list is complete. I am just giving you the commonly performed workouts in the house. Like low impact aerobics would burn your 200 calories in 30 minutes. General weightlifting 110 calories in 30 minutes. Moderate calisthenics 165 calories. Bicycling 260 calories. Stationary bicycling. Walk or jog 220 calories. And dancing 205 calories. If you are not fond of workouts, even the day-to-day -day activities would help you burn the calories. Like child care, bathing and feeding etc. would burn your 130 calories in 30 minutes. Cooking 90 calories. Computer work 50 calories. Light office work 55 calories. Sleeping 30 calories. Reading 40 calories. You can choose any of these activities and keep the track of calorie burnout. You can adjust this with your calorie intake and reduce or increase your consumption according to your need. For example, if you walk for 30 minutes, you can be liberal in consuming 220 nutritional calories. You should also know the nutritional values of some of the commonly consumed food items so that you can keep the track of the consumed calories in a day. Let us take the fruits first. Watermelon, 280 grams of watermelon would give you 86 calories. Pineapple, 1 kg pineapple would give you 450 calories. A pomegranate would give you 230 calories. Papaya, 500 grams would give you 215 calories. Orange, 60 calories. One mango of 330 30 grams would give you 202 calories. 55 grams of guava would give you 37 calories. 150 grams of grapes would give you 104 calories. And 180 grams of apples would give you 95 calories. Let us get to know the calorie value of certain food items. 60 grams of cheese pizza would give you 170 calories. Cheese burger 410 calories. Yogurt would give you 140 calories. Chicken 330 grams of chicken would give you 730 calories. A piece of birthday cake of 85 grams would give you 400 calories. 70 grams of ice cream 170 calories. One serving of dal would give you 200 calories. A dosa would give you 280 calories. Fried rice one serving would give you 660 calories. One parotta 250 calories. One roti would give you 60 calories. Tea, a cup of tea would give you 30 calories and one samosa would give you 110 calories. So what's the take home message? So now you know what to do. Get your relevant values, balance your diet, keep track of everything that you eat in a day, manage exercise and keep yourself fit. So simple. Start it from today. If you like the video, Kindly give me thumbs up. Thank you.